No. Guys, this is what you don't do. You don't propose to a woman in a bar, okay? <laughs> It's rain and it's pour and the old mariner is out by the beach and ready to sell us a engagement ring. Let's go see him. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Nothing until we go get this engagement ring. Let's warp right to the beach. I'm not wasting any time. Here we go. How do we use this thing again? We just, uh, whoa, here we go. Hold on tight. Hold on to your butts. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. Rain in the spring. That means the mariner's out. And the mariner, that old dude over here by the beach, sells an engagement ring or something, a bouquet. I don't even know what it is. We're going to go find out. And we can give that to uh, Leah so Punch can get married. There he is. Hey, buddy. Why do you come out only in the rain, dude? Yay, he's talking to us. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended, and they'll know exactly what you mean. Right, let's buy it. 5,000 gold. Well, Leah is worth it. Mermaid's Pendant. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Let's take a look at this. Mermaid's Pendant. Give this to the person you want to marry. And that's pretty much Leah. She's at 10 hearts already. She's the gal for Punchwood. Oh, thanks, pal. What else do you do now that we bought that? Don't be shy now. Show that amulet to the one you intend to marry. Right, right, right. Okay, that's what we'll do. Let's go visit Leah. But first, I'm going to grab this coral because we got to get some of that money back. All right, uh, while we're here, should we do any... Oh, let's check our crab pots. We got some... Oh, we got all the crabs. Lots of crabs. We don't want crabs. We want lobsters, right? Right. All right. Now, I guess we got to hoof it back. <laughs> I was so excited when I heard the rain. I just had to get to the, uh, the mariner and buy that thing. I suppose while we're here, let's go to the museum and give um, Gunther this prehistoric scapula that we found in the last episode. Have not found one of these before. It's some kind of shoulder bone or something, right? Whew, all right, let me just stop my feet here and get all the water out. And let's go see Gunther. Hi, Gunny. Got something for you, bro. This is a, uh, it's an old shoulder bone. And we'll put it, dude, how about by that bone right there? That's another bone, right? I think so. Yeah, there we go. No reward today? Dude, I walked all the way in the rain. No, nothing? You got nothing for me. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Dude, I treasure hunt all the time. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Can we go to Clint's? Clint doesn't open until, I think, 9 o'clock in the morning. Ah, drat. All right, well, let's just take a walk on the beach over here by the river and see if there's any worms. Maybe we can toss a line in. I think we have to catch sunfish for, uh, Willie. But I don't think we can catch sunfish in the rain. Let's see what can we catch in the rain. This is a very unorthodox day. I usually don't run out of the house. <laughs> Typically, we do all the farming and taking care of the animals early in the morning, right? So, yeah, this is a little bit weird for me. Let's catch one fish, and then we'll go. I don't want trash. Come on! It's raining. Fish is supposed to bite. Here we go. We'll catch one fish. See what it is. It's a big, old, slow guy. Perfect catch. Shad! Great. Let's go, uh, let's go get this geode checked by Clint. Hello, Clinton! Can I call you Clinton? I feel like I know you well enough now to call you Clinton. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare ores. Nope, not going to the mines, pal. Gonna get married. But I'm not gonna tell you to who. That's gonna be a surprise. Anyway, can you smash that open? What do we got in there? Something orange. It's an orpiment. Of course it's an orpiment. Wait a minute, what's an orpiment? I don't believe I've ever seen an orpiment before. It's the first orpiment. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you later. Let's go give Gunther the orpiment now. And we gotta get back to the farm and... Oh, Penny! Hi! He's standing under the pavilion. It's raining. I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Oh! Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. <laughs> okay. Here, you have a quiet moment. And, uh... You know what? Have a nice flower. Such a nice gal. Thank you. This looks special. <laughs> it is. Enjoy your quiet moment, okay? Gotta go inside. Hey, Gunny. Guess what? Got something for you. I know, right? Just walked out the door, it seems. Here, let's put it right there. All right, hand it over. Give me the goods. Gunny? It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? 
Dude, I'm gonna jump over this counter and shove my fist in your face! Ah! Gosh darn that guy. All right, let's get back to the farm. I'm taking the train. We'll catch up to Leah eventually. Let's go to the bus stop. And we'll give her that pendant. But not just yet. Let's go do the farming first. I don't want to miss out on anything over here. we got to plant all these seeds. we got to check on the chickens. we got to check the mail. <laughs> ah, letter from Pierre. The, he owns a shop in town. Dear Punchwood, I am now selling higher quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See you soon, Pierre. Right, dude. We were just there yesterday. Ooh, another letter. It's from Leah. Dear Punchwood, thanks again for coming to my art show. It was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures and everyone was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon. Leah. Oh, you will, girl. You will when you least expect it. Punchwood's gonna be there. <laughs> oh, by the way, when Kent came by yesterday, I thought Kent was Leah's ex-husband. He's not. He's actually married to, um to Jody down here, right? He's married to Jody, right here. Yeah, Jody, Kent, and Sam. Right, he was away at war or something. I don't know, something like that. I'm sure we'll catch up to him and get his backstory, but for right now, let us make a whole bunch of basic fertilizer. Because we gotta get, um, I'm gonna get the rest of these seeds in the ground. All right, everything be fertilized. Let's get the seeds in the ground. We got kale, tulip bulbs, potato seeds, garlic, and parsnips. And what is this? This is the kale, which is tasty and super healthy too. Make a nice kale stew one of these days. We have the tulip bulbs. Put these down here. We're just gonna sell these eventually, right? Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to get a, uh, a fairy rose seed and put it over here by the beehives. The beehives should operate in the spring. I'm pretty sure they do. But we got to give the bees a flower so they can make their honey. But I think the fairy rose is the this is the flower that we want the most because the honey that you make from that they make from the fairy rose is the most expensive. You get some pretty good money out of it. Check my fish box for a shad. I do not have a shad, so let's keep a shad in case somebody wants one. All right, I think I'm somewhat organized. Let's put the little scarecrow right here. And let's go check on the chickens and the cows and see if they'll come out and play in the rain. I don't think they come out and play in the rain, but I'm gonna open up the doors just in case they wanna come out and get a little fresh air. Anybody? Anybody coming out? Doesn't seem like it. All right, well, I'm going in to check on them. What's up, ladies? You don't like the rain, huh? <laughs> They're way in the back over here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is kind of wet and dreary out today, but how you doing there, Franny? Looking fine, girl. Thanks for the milks. Bye-bye. I'm going to close the gate because I don't think they're going to come out. Uh, the chickens don't look like they're going to come out either. <laughs> you girls don't want to come out and play in the rain, do you? All right, uh, 3.30, holy cow. Yeah, let's get moving. I want to get to uh, town and buy a fairy rose. Got to get that in the ground soon to get those bees going. Where is Wilson? Oh, he must be in the house. He doesn't like the rain either. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me put the bucket away. Pail and the watering can. We don't need that in town. All right, let's go. Let's get to Pierre's. Hopefully he's still open. Oh, there's a flower down there. We'll grab that on the way back. Oh, somebody just went inside a door. I heard a door. Oh, hi. It's Oh, it's Evelyn, the old lady coming from the doctor's. I hope she's okay. We've got a help wanted sign here from Clint. I'm looking for someone to bring me 40 copper ores as part of a local geological survey. 400 gold on delivery. You can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he always talks about himself in the third person. Hey, Evelyn, how you doing today? Came out in the rain to go to the doctor's? I hope you're okay. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Evelyn, I've known him for a year. How long is it going to take? I'm sure you two can become good friends one day. <laughs> All right, well, I'll give it another year, I guess. Since you're so interested in my husband, I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find them in the mountains this time of year. Oh, that's a good tip. Thank you very much. I have nothing to give to you. I'm sorry. Leeks. Yeah, we can find leeks in the uh, in in the world. 
Well, that's good to know. We'll give George some leaks. Now, hey, uh, buddy, I got your letter today. What I'm looking for, though, is a particular flower. Hopefully you have it. You don't have a fairy rose flower, do you, bro? Dang it. Okay. Well, if that's the way you're going to be. Uh, bye. <laughs> you got nothing for me, Pierre. <laughs> I'll come and say hi anyway. Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. Right, I will, because like I said, I'm looking for a fairy rose seed. It's a lot of work to run a shop. Okay, I know. Goodbye. Dang it. All right, well, that was uh, that was a strikeout. What should we do? It is 5 o'clock. Um, should we go give Leah the mermaid's pendant? I mean, why wait, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there she is right there at the town square. Hey, Leah. Hi. The art show was so great yesterday. Hi. Oh, you want to talk? Yeah, I do. Uh, but maybe not out here in the rain. <laughs> the landscape around here gives me a lot of ideas. The terrain is almost like a sculpture itself. Yes, it's so true. I don't make art for money. It's just an urge that I have. Oh, I know. You, you do it because you love it. That's what I appreciate. That's what I like about you, Leah. You going into the saloon? No. No. Guys, this is what you don't do. You don't propose to a woman in a bar, okay? <laughs> so, hey, Leah. How's things going? Farming seems like a very rewarding profession. You get to create delicious food for everyone. It's true, I do. Someday I'm going to come over and, and make you a, a radish salad, okay? You're probably busy, sorry. I am a little busy. Hey, I'll catch up to you, okay? All right, we gotta go. Oh, there's Shaney boy. Shaney boy. Can't give him any wood. Uh, hi, Doc. Hey, hope Evelyn's all right. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. All right, uh, you gotta go. Yeah, we're not gonna give Leah the mermaid's pendant in a bar, all right? We're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is wait for Leah to go by her little pond. That pond right there is where Leah and Punchwood had their first date. Remember? A long time ago, and he said she looked radishing. And he gave her a radish. It was the cutest thing ever. So I think what we might do is wait. Oh, look at all the flowers over there. Oh, I can't get those are fake. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to try to meet her there and give her the pendant there. That would be super romantic and thoughtful. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, bud, you're going to stay out here, man. I'm going in alone. Grab that daffodil. And we can go give this to, uh... We can give a, sh um, a daffodil to Shane, right? I mean, he appreciates flowers, probably? I think so. Everybody likes a flower. I hope so. I'm gonna try to get him to eat hearts. Come in! Come in! Oh, thanks, Gus! Nice to see ya! Hey, Shane. Uh, I got something for you, buddy. Buddy? I don't really like this. Oh, dang it! <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh, what are friends for? Well, I can't give him another gift today, so we're going to have to um, make it up tomorrow. We'll bring him a hot pepper. He loves hot peppers. I don't really know what to do for the rest of the day. I guess we're just going to gather up some of these flowers around here. Everybody else likes flowers. I mean, most people like flowers. Oh, what is that? Is that a leak? Oh, it's a horseradish. We got a horsey radish. Nice. I guess I'll go chop some wood over here, get some magical wood. Doesn't hurt getting magical wood. There's a rock in my way. Can't go wrong with the hardwood, can you now? Nope. Well, I guess I'm just going to head back to the farm and do some work around here. Place is a disaster after all. So, I guess I could do a little cleanup work here and then do some selling as well. Come on, bud. We're going to put you away. The beers are up. And the mayonnaise and everything. So, yeah, let me grab all this stuff. Grab the cheese. All right, let's sell the cheese, the beers, and the... I'm not going to sell all of these mayonnaises. I'm going to sell two and keep one as a gift. And we are definitely going to have to plant some kind of a flower over here. I don't have any flower seeds left, which means we're going to have to buy... A flower seed at Pierre's tomorrow. I mean, it's closed now. Should have bought one when I was there, huh? Oh, well. All right, let me just uh, finish getting organized here, and then we're just going to go to bed. There's really nothing else left to do today. Do we have a mor morel? I don't think I have a morel. 
Well, I do now. Not sure what good it is, but we'll put it in here and save it. Somebody might want one eventually, or some kind of recipe will pop up. You see, I got a couple of fairy roses right here, but I can't turn them into seeds. I know there is some kind of a seed-making machine, but I don't think I have that recipe yet. I don't think I can make it. Can I? No, I don't have that recipe yet, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully we get that soon. And I need some more hops. One, two, three hops. Let's make some more brewskis. Yeah, I know it's getting late. I know it's getting late. 12 o'clock. And I guess we'll just go to bed. Let me just get rid of that weed right there. Lots of weeds everywhere. Close the door. Actually, let's go in here and just make sure everything's planted. Getting water. Looks good. All right. Well, today's over. Today is over. And we have our Mariner's Pendant. Where is my dog? Ooh, I don't know. I haven't seen Wilson in a while. I'm gonna go check to make sure he's around. Oh dear. Wilson? Wilson? Oh gosh. What happened to my dog? Where's my dog gone, dog gone? <laughs> it's not in the cave. Yeah, it's getting late. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get back into bed. Gotta get in the house before two o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, Wilson shows up tomorrow. I don't know. He must be hiding from the rain somewhere. Yeah, weird. Oh, there he is. You're right here in the kitchen. Did I walk right past you before? Maybe I did. All right, I gotta get in bed. All soggy, wet clothing, and everything. Let's see how we did. Here endeth day twoeth of springeth year twoeth. Ah, oh, we got half the gold back that we spent on the Mariner's Pendant. Not too shabby. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.